Hi guys, welcome back to another video of hands-on platform introduction. Uh, in this video, we are going to talk about Selenium. Okay, so we are covering how to launch, uh, where to write the code, how to write a code, and how to run the code. Okay, so let's get started. So you can see on my screen. First is how to launch. So you already know because I have already uh, uploaded two videos uh, for Nightwatch and Cucumber. So there I already uh, told you like how to launch. So in this same way we have to launch for the Selenium as well. Okay. So we have to click on launch button and uh, we have to wait for some time. Okay. And then uh, this screen will show. Okay. This is your project folder. Okay. So inside this project folder, one folder uh, of Selenium you will see. So you have to select that one. That will uh, I will tell you in the next slide. Okay. Okay. Now same we have to open a visual studio we have to click on file okay when you open the visual studio you will get this file option click on file and then click on open folder okay so once you click the folder then you have uh, you will get the option of desktop uh, desktop so you have to click on desktop and you have to select this folder this folder will be available inside this project folder okay so once you click on this project folder now so you will get this folder so you have to click 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 on this one okay so click on this one and open this folder okay so one purple pop up will come you have to click on uh, accept this thing now now which uh, file we have to open for writing the code okay so as previous video of night watching cucumber we have seen like we have to open two to three files for this one but yeah for selenium we don't need to write or open a two to three files we have to open only one file okay if you are java language people so you have to open a java code if you are a python then you have to open a python code okay so you will find these two folder uh, on the left side of visual studio okay so now in this video i'm going to uh, tell you about the java code so let's see how to uh, use the selenium code with java okay okay so yeah uh, one more thing i have to tell you uh, like I have given a code so for this hands on you not required to open a problem statement you have to read the problem statement or not but if you are giving your actual assessment then definitely you have to open the problem statement first and you have to read the problem statement first like what we have to do in that one okay then you can start your testing okay now uh, problem statement I will uh, tell you in brief so like uh, in this in this uh, hands on we have to see a currency converter app okay website uh, we will see uh, in this one like we have five options okay you can see these options here so we have to select one option from uh, this drop down and we have to give some value again we have to select uh, another drop down and then again we have to check the value for example if we have selected euro and we have given some value so how like what value will be in us dollar for example okay so this type of converter you have to currency converter uh, uh, directly you can say okay we will going to get a uh, hands-on for this one okay see so i told you so we have to open the java code uh sorry i have told you about uh java code yeah so inside this java code you will get this src folder okay and inside inside this src folder you will get the selenium test dot java python for same you will get uh, a selenium test dot py file okay yeah uh, till now i hope this is clear guys okay now how to write a code okay so this i will tell you later section okay uh, first you have you you won't get this code okay this code you have to write from your own okay so i will show you first which line of code you have already given in your compiler so this code you can get from your end uh, not this one from select to these things we have to write same for this one so there are two mainly two functions are there okay two public functions you can see one is convert euro to usd and convert iran uh, I, inr to euro okay by date okay so these two functions you will get there okay and we have to write a of uh, we have to write uh, some steps inside this one okay so just write this code i will tell you in brief like uh, what i am trying to write okay this see so we have to create one object for select because for uh, using uh, drop down uh, we required a uh, object okay if you don't know how to you uh, interact with this uh, drop down in selenium so you can check my playlist uh, of selenium tutorials i have already given all the details okay from scratch i am uh, giving uploading my lecture so that you can get the help of this lecture and understand these concepts okay so if you are appearing for selenium then definitely you have to know about these things okay so after this hands on i will try i will say like you should go and watch my lecture okay i have covered all the lectures which will be important uh, perspective to tcs 
uh, wings one okay now just come back to our lecture again yeah so what we have to do now we have to select uh, uh, we have to create one select button okay so, uh, select object sorry and uh, for this op1 i am creating one object okay and with the help of this one i am selecting index 3 index 3 means if you see this image so indian rupee 0 1 2 3 means uh, if you see the problem statement now so they are asking is us to click on euro first okay and then give some amount and then second converter select us dollar and see the value like this way again again clear this value give some other value okay like this way they have asked ask us to do okay problem statement you can go and uh, read from your end because if i try to give this information then this video will become very uh, long okay so no need to go into this one so just copy this code okay just copy this code you will understand like what we are going to do so uh, this lines of code you have to write in this function and these lines of code you have to write in this functions okay yeah now we will back to the first one so after writing these two after writing these two we have to call this function okay we have to call this function and if you know java so you know like uh, we, you know then we have to uh, like uh, we definitely required a main function to call these functions okay so we have created public static void main string args it will show automatically when we write public static now so it will show a suggestion why i'm writing this try and catch block now uh, because you can see like it will throw an exception like uh, we are consider considering this it will throw an exception so if it is normal function then di directly we can uh, uh, create an object and then we can call it but due to this throw exception mentioned here we have to give this thing inside the catch and try and catch block okay so i'm writing try because maybe it throw exception that's why i'm writing in a try section okay try and we will create first uh, object of this one okay so this is the class name okay just write this one you will understand okay selenium test d is the object and i am creating one class d object and with the help of this d object i am calling these two functions which we already they have mentioned okay i will show you which already they have mentions in the uh, code okay these codes so you can see there are two functions okay so we have to call these functions by using object okay fine uh, yes and in exception like we don't need to write anything just write this index catch exception e e should be capital okay and this e will be small okay so once you write these things now your work is okay okay now we have to install and all these things so many people are uh, doing wrong here also so, so just see here how to install how to run and how to test this one first one where you are just see you are in desktop project wings one mock selenium or not if not then give cd space and this path okay to come to this path first okay once you are in this path then you have to click uh, sh install dot sh so all the requirements will install automatically okay first okay now second thing now we have to run so we can't run directly here okay so inside selenium also we have to write cd space java code we have to enter in the java code okay so cd space java code you will write so you will land it on this page you can see mock selenium is there before now we are getting slash java code also it means we have uh, we are landed on java code folder as well okay that's good now here we have to write ss run dot sh okay so once you click this one so it will show you the uh, running path okay now if it won't create any issue if you won't get any error then the final stage you have to do that is ssh test.sh okay so in the same folder java code folder you have to write ssh test.sh okay so once you write this one once you write this one just click on click on it so you will get all the test cases were passed okay so it means like your code is correct now you can submit your as uh, hands on so for your uh, visibility i have given all the li all lines of code so you can't miss like uh, i have given like here in part by part right so i am giving full line of code so that you can match your uh, uh, your code okay with this one so these all things already given okay before class already given this url already given so i have just i just written this line of code as i told you public static void main now uh, after test after class is also available there okay so inside this function uh, we have written this code and inside this function we have written this code so that's it guys okay so i hope this is clear guys okay if not then just comment out 
okay what possible error we can face then we will see there okay and try to help you so that's all in this video just try to give hands on from your end and yeah most important uh, you will get around 37 uh, minutes okay to complete this hands on very less time they are giving and very much more thing uh, we have to write so just focus on uh, first i will say just go through this video before starting uh, any hands on okay so that you can't give again and again okay so just follow this one or you can open this thing in parallel laptop and then you can try in your tcs machine or whatever machine you are trying to give okay so that's all guys uh, we'll see you in the next lecture thank you bye bye